So this is a nice uh, beef and broccoli you can make for about $2 Canadian. It costs about $10 to $15 Canadian at a restaurant. Of course you have to support the restaurants uh, during this pandemic, but at the same time you can make this uh, dish at home. So this beef and broccoli I made for about $2 Canadian. When you go to a Chinese restaurant it's about $10 to $15 Canadian. So of course you have to support the uh, Chinese restaurants in your local area, but you can make this at home. Mmm, wow. Big slices of beef. You probably won't get this in a lot of restaurants. Mmm, that's really good. The beef is nice and tender, lots of flavor from the marinating technique called um, velveting. I'm using a sirloin tip for the beef. So this is triple A Angus beef. It's fairly good uh, beef. But this beef is a little bit tough, so it's mostly used as a roast. So I'm going to slice it thin, and then I'm going to velvet the uh, beef. So that way you'll tenderize it. So this one has been vacuum packed, so we're just going to take it out of the vacuum pack. So you can use different kind of beef for stir fry, put it about everything. So flank steak is a, a lean cut. So sirloin, it's uh, lots of flavor, and uh, you probably don't have to marinate if you use just the top sirloin. So this is the sirloin tip. It's the best of the round steak. It's part of the, the, the rump, the back part of the uh, the, the cow, but uh, you can pretty well use any kind of cut. So this is a nice piece of uh, sirloin uh, tip. So I'm just going to cut the beef really thin. So if you want to cut it at an angle, you get it seems like there's more. So you cut an angle like this, but it's not necessary. You can cut it. You can cut it just like regular like this, just straight up and down if you want. Cut like that. In the old days, we just cut it like this, like in my grandfather's restaurant, the Nulo Cafe. So Nulo Cafe was originally called the Palm Cafe. So if you want to cut it like this, just in half, lengthwise, cut it half lengthwise, and then you just cut the beef like this. So a slight angle if you want. So what you do is you um, marinate the, the whole sirloin tip and then you can use it during the course of the week for different dishes. So for this amount of beef, uh, roughly a pound, I would put a generous uh, tablespoon, uh, maybe a little bit more just to marinate it. So this is a good brand. Uh, this is the uh, Kingsford brand. Uh, pretty famous in Hong Kong. People in Hong Kong buy it a lot, so I use this brand. I've been using this for the last few years. So I'm going to put some uh, dark soy sauce, just a little bit, just a teaspoon, just for darker color. So dark soy sauce is for color. It's a sweet soy sauce. So this is the uh, light soy sauce. So I'm going to put about uh, three or four tablespoons. I don't put the uh, oyster flavor sauce for a marinade. I usually use it as a dipping sauce. But I'm going to put a tablespoon in there just because I like oyster flavor sauce. So then you put the peanut oil or any kind of cooking oil. So I put about uh, three or four tablespoons of cooking oil in there. This is Shaoxing cooking wine. It's uh, good for marinade. It gives it lots of flavor. You can put this in. That's an option. So it's good to marinate your beef or meat or chicken or whatever, any kind of meat uh, marinate overnight. But if you don't uh, have time, just marinate for at least an hour if you have time. If not, you can just uh, stir fry right away. So this is called velveting. So this will add a nice coating of cornstarch around the meat and uh, it will tenderize the meat at the same time. So it will lock in all the flavor from the sauces as well. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese Cooking Accessory Guide. 
You can order everything online, including the wok that I use and some of the equipment that I use. So I got the wok going now, so I'm going to put in uh, two or three tablespoons of cooking oil. I used the peanut oil. So I'm going to turn up the high heat now. It's warming up at uh, medium to medium high. So I'll put the uh, ginger in there and give it a quick stir fry. So I marinated the beef last night, so the beef should be very tender. So this is called velveting when you marinate it with the cornstarch like that. So just let it sear for a bit before you turn the beef. Beef is really tender when you marinate it overnight, so this technique, this technique is called velveting. That's really fantastic. Uh, cook about 80%. So you don't want to overcook it. Sometimes I take it off even earlier. But I had to try a piece of that beef, so kind of delayed it slightly, but that's okay. So uh, this uh, dish with beef and broccoli, I have maybe uh, three or four cups of broccoli here. So what I'm going to do is just boil it for, uh, you know, two or three minutes. The wok uh, heating up at uh, medium to medium high heat. And then first uh, put about three tablespoons of cooking oil. I like peanut oil. Uh, you can use other kind of vegetable oil. You can use like a corn oil. You can use other kind of oils. Some people use grapeseed oil. But don't use olive oil. Olive oil has a low burning temperature. So first, uh, we're just going to put in about two tablespoons of sliced ginger. So you can see the heat. So just stir fry it for about uh, 15 seconds. Now I'm going to turn the heat on to high right now because we want lots of wok, hey? So I'm going to put some onion, uh, one small onion I, I sliced up. Ouch! So don't uh, throw it in too hard because the oil will splash on you. So you heard me say ouch there. So, so I'll put the broccoli in. This is uh, chicken and broccoli. So I'm gonna, this is chicken and broccoli with black bean sauce. So I'm gonna put some uh, black bean sauce here. This is the Lee Kum Kee brand. So for this size order, I'm just gonna put about a tablespoon in there. So you don't need to add any more soy sauce or oyster sauce because I think that's gonna be salty enough and lots of flavor with the black bean sauce and if you want to use the uh, fermented black bean and uh, fermented black bean uh, once you use it you put in a jar put in the fridge my rule of thumb is when you use one tablespoon of uh, black bean sauce you put in half or less of the uh, fermented black bean so if you use a tablespoon of black bean sauce use about uh, uh, half of that like a teaspoon of this fermented black bean or even less I like the black bean sauce because it's uh, convenient and handy and you can uh, check my Chinese cooking accessory guide in the uh, description below this video if you can't get it locally. So the next thing you do is just put, oh yeah, oh that was, plate was hot. So put the beef back in just before you serve the uh, dish. So I have one third uh, cup of water with uh, tablespoon of cornstarch just to thicken the sauce. So just to thicken the sauce, the beef you don't, you don't want to overcook unless you don't really care. But usually I put it back in after so not to overcook it. So you see the uh, sauce here so when you mix the cornstarch solution it thickens the sauce. So you just have a look here see if you have enough sauce. So if you put the, too much uh, cornstarch you add more liquid. You add more chicken stock or water but uh, I think this looks pretty good so I don't need to add any extra liquid and so you have this uh, small amount of sauce uh, you don't need to thicken the sauce if you don't want to some people just like to have the veggies uh, without the thick sauce so this is a personal choice so put some of the beef on top so it looks like you have lots of beef there sometimes you do have lots of beef Sometimes you don't have very much beef. 
You still want to make it look like there's lots of beef, so you put all the beef in the top. So that's a pretty good looking dish. So during this pandemic, you can enjoy this at home for about $2 Canadian. So, um, lots of flavor in this beef and broccoli. I always have it with a bowl of rice. It used to be like four or, four, four or five bowls of rice. Now I try to restrict it to one or two. Mmm. Of course you have to support the uh, local restaurant, so order from a restaurant once in a while, but in the meantime you can make some nice beef and broccoli at home. Mmm, you gotta try this. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like and subscribe. Any comments are always welcome. Take care and stay safe. Mm -hmm.